Draconic Dawn versus Zex. And as you can see, Draconic Dawn, zero stars if this is a win for Draconic Dawn. We're going to see a new top 8 player. If Zex wins instead, he will become lucky. 7 stars. Probably that lucky. Uh, let's see, Draconic Dawn 10-6, but has probably improved that in this tournament, because one loss so far, it's a loser's 9, and let me cheat for a little bit, quarter of wins, that means we are at 14-7 now, with win rate of 66%, right? And Zex on the other side, 71% win rate, also probably improved it. Maybe? I, I did see a, a lot more matches between Sex Drop and Two Boobers earlier. The second to last, is it? So I, I meant like number wise. It doesn't mean it's the second to last match. Uh, like, I, I, I wasn't trying to say it's the last match. I was trying to say like on the, on the bracket it's the last match. Yeah, no, so... Oh yeah, I was wrong anyway. Um, according to the suggested play order on challenge, the last, like, uh, round 9 of losers is played from bottom to top. Which means actually my match was the last one. Hell yeah, 296. Yeah, 296 is the last match that should be played. This is the second to last match, the Connecton vs. Sex. And then we still have the Guns vs. Jackson, which will happen... Oh, let, me, let, me, let me cheat again. Notice the stream is not over, don't worry. <laughs> Happens tomorrow. something here. Uh, but yeah, so number-wise looks like Zex should have it. But because we're always hoping for a good match, it doesn't matter who has the edge. Numbers. Who cares about numbers, right? Let's care about Gerudo Valley. Yo, Gerudo Valley? I love that place. Well, I, I mean, I hate the place. You know, Bandy. And they keep on getting thrown in the jail? Yeah. I didn't get caught a lot when I played this one. I, uh, had a really good habit of getting caught, actually. Good habit? It wasn't. It wasn't great for me. Just good. I really found that jail cell uh, familiar by the end of Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's like some kind of Stockholm syndrome you developed. I love being in jail. I love these four walls. Wow, this bed is so where it's it's so formful. Instead of thread count on the sheets, it's pixel count. I'd say something about these video games. So, Draconic Dawn fought Shoe Horse Off in Bound High, virtual boy game. Uh, bony and Slaby Blocks, kind of what we're all feeling right now. Uh, Mighty and Super Tux, very fancy dressing. Vitoral and Pack and Roll Remix, gotta love that pack, man. And then finally losing to Someone325 and Misplaced. I guess they misplaced their win streak. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and now for the hard one again, because the thing keeps on scrolling. Zex fought off Tasty and Secret Santa. I remember that game. You can't uh, believe 
You can't believe how hard it was to make this thing scroll. Show some respect. Look, I respect it a lot. Okay. I'm just saying, every time I try to read something from it, it always moves. Re remember one or two games. I believe in you. It's one game that is off screen. I, I believe in you. <laughs> uh, Zex Lost to Jal and Wagon Midnight Portable, a uh, racing game on the PSP. Uh, one against Polari and VeggieTales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Trust us, it's a good game. You should play it. You won't expect it to be good. <laughs> uh, Canopy and Mini Putt. Both game always good. Bacon Man 12 and Last Slice. Church and Sarge and Neko to Puzzle. And wait for it. Relis and Scorpulak and Andy and R. Rotage. Rotage? R. Rotage? I don't know. Rotage. What he said. Well, I don't think so, but it sounded funny. Look, you're the one hosting the stream. That means the host is right. Yeah, yeah. If, 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 if you say I'm not right, I can just mute you. There's nothing oh, you can no. do. I, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, if I don't like someone, I could just mute them and they can't. Like, what are they going to do? The chat won't know. Well, the chat will know because my voice will be lighting up, I think. Well, <laughs> I can I can just hide the... You put, like, an Ame banner right over the name underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been turned into a VTuber. Send help. That's the newest light novel, isn't it? What do you think? Uh, established old boys X or new top eight contestant Draconic Don? I'm gonna I'm go with this X because I don't like Jigglypuffs. Mm. It's a uh, it's inherent from my Smash days. Oh, so we we talked about this avatar that Draconic Don has. Like it, on first glance, it looks fine, but then you look a little closer and like it feels like the different sizes of the eyes does not respectively work. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. It's like the Jigglypuff's right size is, is yeah, very yeah. up close to the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a it's fisher given lens. You the, uh, it's given you the rock look, where he like, lifts up the one Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is a Rentry game that we pulled, huh? Rentry game? Yeah. Uh, it has a rent pace bin, yeah. Still call it pace bin. It's just the name. It has nothing to World do with fashion. the site being called pace bin at this point. And let me ch check if this looks good. It apparently only has one screen, so everything's kind of on there. The IRC and everything. I'm sure that'll be fine. It's dangerous. You never know what randomly pops up on your desktop. All right, here we go. Finish downloading. We got a game. The game is called C Golf Peaks. This is a game developed by... I forgot the def, I knew this. Golf Peaks. This is a game by Afterburn. Slash Afterburn Studio. They make a bunch of puzzle games. They made Golf Peaks, they made Inbento, and recently they made Railbound. All very nice games. Inbento is I've actually... Cute. Yeah, I've had Inbento on my list for a while to pick up. Very cute. It's very hard. It's it's way harder than this game. Next tournament in Bento. Yeah, maybe. All right, here we go. Uh, Golf Peaks. We're going to beat World Six, which I think, as you can see on the screen, there is nine levels in each world, and then like three bonus levels. I'm not sure if those are required. We're gonna figure it out. It may also be in the pace bin, which I will put that. I got the base pin in the chat. Well, too bad I overwrote your pin. My goodness, Maurice. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting out a bit simple. Pull your mouse towards where you want to hit the golf ball. Yeah, so what's important is you have these carts at the bottom. They kind of look like folders, really. And you can choose which one you want to use. So Draconic Dungeons used the wrong one, for example. You want to start with the two. The sex immediately re recognizes. God, there was another golf game that did this, except that it wasn't it wasn't just hitting the ball, it was like power-ups you had cards for as well. 
but it was 3D golf. Let me, let me see if I can find the name of that game. It doesn't go for the skip. You can just go bottom right instead. Faster. Golfy, that's the name of the game. All right, here we learn. It's a... If you end up on a slope, the ball will roll down the slope in your shots. Here we will be bouncing off walls that counts as one move because it's like moving to the edge and back. Yeah, so here go two in a direction and then three in like the opposite way you would expect. Both players immediately getting it. We are so synced up. My goodness. World complete. Yeah, world complete. We unlock three bonus levels, but we're not doing them apparently. We have a new type of stroke here. We'll fly over terrain. So we do two in a direction and then I want to. I don't know, Don just falling right off the edge. Okay. Giving Zex some time to sink back up. These uh, levels at the start, they're, they're really easy. I think we're gonna see, like, I don't know, World 4 or something and start getting stuck. We've had some really comfy games these past few days, haven't we? <laughs> we had fishing. Oh yeah, fishing, oh yeah, that was golf so, today. It was so comfy mashing the button as fast as I could in order to like fish as fast as possible. Look, whether or not the player was being comfortable, the chat was. <laughs> uh Don just sends it right over. Lights off the map. So what is the solution here? Let's see. But Three ones where we put two. One of them follows up by a one in the direction. I think we just do. Oh, nails it. Use the slope to roll down. Just hits it up. Now we have angled walls. Oh yeah, angled walls will just redirect your ball, and they they work. Not like that. You gotta the one to like skip course. So you do three bottom left. X is gonna do this. Three and then a one to the bottom right. X has it. That's lead change. Very good, very good. Oh, shrambles with the, the reveal of MT18's theme, par for the course. All golf games, all the time. Oh, that's a it's actually going to be rebranded into Golf Tourney. We were thinking about 18's theme, and I mean, that's, a, that's actually a good point. Golf courses do have 18 holes. That, that's actually genius. Oh my god. <laughs> Not going to work for Zex. So I oh, th hole in one? Oh, Dracon done takes the lead again. So exciting. Now we have sand. Sand will stop your ball. So if you mm. even if you do like a five or something, which would be crazy. Imagine trying to like hit a five in this game. Crazy. Uh it would Oh, can you just not move your ball on sand at all? It will move one space. Oh wait, no, you're right. It doesn't move at all. So we probably start with a three and then a two over the sand. Like the sand wedge. There we go. <clears throat> we gotta get it to pop up. Dex also joined the Draconic Dawn on World 3. And solves this one a little faster, so we're on the same puzzle again. Exciting! Trading... Trading the lead, back and forth. The two and the one. Yeah, it's gonna work for the Draconic Dawn. Nice. Uh, but it's also gonna work for Zex. No, don't start with the three. You start with the one. Oh, never mind. You just waste the three. I guess that worked. Checks out. Alright. So I know. Oh, this is off of the Draconic Dawn as well. Oh, no, it's not. Oh! Used the wrong... Uh, like, had to keep the two up and one straight. Instead of the two up and two straight. And there we go. This time the Draconic Dawn also. Perfect. Ah, 
All right, so here we have mud. If you stop on the mud, the ball will sink into the mud and you will have to start the puzzle over. That's unfortunate. Just like Zex finds out. Chronic Don had gone the other way and on the right side of that. Worked. Ah, oh, same puzzle again. I think Draconic Don has to go left, not right. Oh, Zex goes left. And now we do, over. Now we do a three to the top right. A three. Okay, maybe we read that. Draconic Don does the three. Now a two to the top left, which will drop us here, and then a two into the goal. Don maintains the lead. Chip in! Nice shot. <laughs> the sand and mud. Are they taking care of their golf course? Yeah, this is awful. Imagine you, you pay your like, yearly membership fees, which is probably a lot, right? I, I've never been in a golf club, but it's got to be like a thousand at least. I don't know. I don't actually know how expensive stuff is. But then you, you come to the course and it's like a swamp. I'm gonna look up a golf course that I know of for context. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't even too include too exclusive for that. If you have to ask the price, then it's too much for yeah, you. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Idea asking they're going all the way to world six. They're beating world six. That is the goal. Draconic Dawn has beaten World 3, so it's, in theory, halfway through the goal. But right, we have water. Water is like <laughs> a mud, but it's like more mud. Extreme mud. This is this is really funny. I looked up the golf club that was down the street from where I used to live back in uh, middle school. And it definitely has a page for signups for memberships. Unfortunately, a page was not found. Oh, classic. Uh, water is actually a little different from mud, I see, because just like in Wii Sports, if you hit water, you respawn at the last place your ball was. So this, this is like an, like an important puzzle mechanic where if you just hit the ball willy-nilly into the water, it will respawn the closest to the water. Ah, hazards. Yeah, and also you get one plus one to your scorecard. So, good, keep enough like that. What do you think is par in a puzzle game? Oh. Optimals. Hmm. Puzzle games are brutal. No, because I mean, you could. This par is not optimal. Par is just like average, isn't it? Oh, but then. What? What? Draconic Town? What? Just. Hit it to the top left. You hit it. What was that about? You know, no, not that. What? Undo. One to the top left, now the two. Yeah, and, and this is the exact position you were in, and now a top left. There we go. Moves on to four or five. Four over here. Could have been a three, so that's like something you notice, right? If, if there's a slope there. Ah, but perfect solve. Doesn't need any of that. This is this is some course, man. Yeah, you imagine My going goodness. to the course. It's, it's like the skate park. There's a half pipe in there. You, you gotta hit the ball up the, the the quarter pipe, have it land on the rail, do a cool 50-50 grind. Do a kick flip in order to get it actually into the hole. Yeah. This is like you'd hike in this golf course. Well, I guess that's why it's called Golf Peaks, isn't it? Top right is the wrong decision. We want to go top left. When he does it, it's gonna be a solve. Is uh, two puzzles behind? Back to the top. 
going to expanding the lead a tiny bit. Zach's working out the puzzle there. You can see the mouse. Planning out moves. Mm, this will work. Zex. Number three to the top right will make it roll back into the... Excellent. Oh, you already extended the goal? I was thinking beats is, world six is really short. Not gonna work for Zex. Mm. And it's also not gonna work for Draconic Dawn. Really wanna end up on the sand. Zex. Like, uh. Okay. No, there you go. Oh, well, I wasn't even looking. Yeah, use the two the two flat in order to get under the sandwich stopped. Oh, up. still had the two flat. I didn't see. I was just four seven between uh, Zex and Draconic Dawn, and this level is pretty simple. There's only four, and like all these strokes are pretty simple. They're only like a, a one step affair. Actually, you start down there, but one up is the only move you can make, I think. So, Zex catching up, same level again. Perfection. I actually remember yeah, this, this is... puzzle for some reason. This puzzle stumped me for a while. Like this. This is a popular game, from what I understand. It, it's not surprising that many people would have played it. It's pretty good. I like all the games, but it's... And Bento is very cute. So th one thing that helps is that this level is symmetrical. It doesn't matter which direction you start in. Really sitting here working this one out, chat. It's gonna be a sofa draconic down three down here and then a two. I don't know. Perfect. Gets the lead back. Alright. Top path or bottom path? Bottom path is impossible. Or up there. I uh, can't do this. The, the 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 only move that gets us into the hole is a three from down the top slope there. Yeah, it's and solve. Perfect, moves on to World 5. Oh, we got little jump pads now. Good morning. Oh, that, that was one undo, and you switched to, to the other one, and that's going to be a solve. Draconic Dunn doesn't see it. Uh, Draconic Dunn had the correct solution. Wrong part. In order to get up. How about this works? Too. So I'm trying to figure out these bounce pads. They don't trigger when you land on them, but do you have to roll on them and then it bounces you? Yeah, so... You... <clears throat> that was a two, right? Oh, if you start on them, they don't count. Yeah, if you like roll over them in your move, that will trigger. So there needs to be some kind of momentum, I see. Which means this is bad. Reconnect on. Oh, actually, never mind. Gets. It's genius. Gets it. Magnificent. Lex also moved on to World 5 in the meanwhile. Two levels behind. It's still a really close race. Who is not good? Two is gonna let you in the war.
that Ridge saying that the later worlds are harder than the early ones. So you can work backwards a little, right? Like, where are positions you can get it to, to, to the hole? You can get from, like, the top right part of this level uh, with the two, uh, what's the word, the lob chip, I guess, with the two chip, you can fly directly into the hole, but it, it seems not like the way to go because the only two chips you have are ones that are followed by a straight. Yeah. Uh... If we keep the one, we can use like a two chip with a two follow up in order to fly over the water in the top left. Like here, yeah, yeah uh, almost. So if, if we still had the one and did not quite that, but to the top left instead, I think it would land us next to the. All right, we're back to a tie. The X is muted to five four. So I think the solution is two to the top left. First move. And then we do a two chip with a one. To the top left again. Just like Zex almost about to do. This one. This one. Yeah. So instead of the two, we would have the one here, just imagine. And then we do this to the top left. No, 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 no. Top left, top left. Come on, I'm going to show how smart I am. Maurice wants to use his big brain. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, bottom left is not correct. That's the. They uh, it looked like the cursor was off center for sex there. Oh, uh, you can have it anywhere you want. Ah, I see. Not like mini gulp. So, uh, so sex is on the right track, except you want the one and not the two. So two to the top left. No, ah. Sex reset before the level was even visible. That's how fast we're going. Now we do a two chip one to the top left. And now two chip two to the top left, which will land us next to the flag, I believe. This one's the one I'm like the least sure about. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind that. I hate to tell you this, Maurice, but faith in your golf ball does not make you par. Mm. But I still like that move. Uh, work. Oh, the Kong don't solve it. I wasn't looking. Classic. So I'm moving on to 5-5, five, five, keeping the lead. And there's a lot of strokes you can take in this practice as a par 5. And a lot of sand and water. Yeah, and like bottomless pit. Dangerous. And this is not a solve for Sonic Dawn because no way for him to the flag now. Yeah, there's no jump. Zex is drawing out the path in his mind. So what would you want to have? You'd want to have the one at the end in order to get up there. I think you have to. I think that's the only <clears throat> possible. Which means that you're going to be coming oh, down the of it somehow. Yeah, there we go. On 5-6, the, the lead is lengthening again. This, this will not work for Draconic Dunn. He only has a one ship left, and he needs a two ship to get over this water. So you need the two ship and then, like, the one straight at the end, it's kind of a red herring there. Uh, at the very end, 100%. Which also means that you, ne you need to use the bounce pad right right of the start in order to start this level. Oh, wait, no, but how does this work? Sonic Dawn is just as confused as I am. Oh wait, there's another bounce pad there. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 this works. Ah, I didn't see the bounce pad bottom left. Draconic done. Way smarter. Draconic down on 5.7. Zex on 5.6, oh, yeah. catching up. Zex, Zex is really close behind Solve 5.5-5. Uh, really fast. 
Like a golf shark. Oh, but the Chronicon solving 5-7. We're getting kind of close to the end of the goal. There's nine levels per world, so Draconic Dawn only has 11 levels left. It's interesting. We have a five straight, four and a five straight card. Oh, this is all for Zex, I think. It's to the bottom left and then bottom right, the last one. Ding. Perfect. On to five, seven. You know that meme of uh, Sports, the German version, where it says ass. <laughs> I don't. Does it actually do that? <laughs> well, yeah, because us is like... <clears throat> it's not actually hole in one. It's a little weird to use it in golf. It's definitely used in tennis and table tennis if you get the point without, like, on your serving. It's like an ace. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's, it's spelled A-S-S. But it's like video where he does a really good sh shot and then like flashy letters appear on screen and they go ass really funny puzzle is weird because i feel like there's only so many moves we can do it doesn't matter in which order you do these moves in unless fall down the hole there we go world complete for dawn moving on to six final world of the game Oh, oh cool. teleporter. And the music all drummy it's suddenly. It's got a beat. Zach Zach says to hurry up. These levels are trivial. So it seems like you gotta dive into the hole in order to get through. As opposed to just rolling over it. Well if you end on it, it probably counts. Oh, top right is the wrong move at the start here. <laughs> Dive to your death. Uh, this is not the silver conic done because we are out of ships now. <laughs> oh, this is off. Yeah, it's gonna bounce with the one move at the end there. Six five, five levels remain. The Chronicle is moving. You may see a new top 8 contender here. Zex is kind of stuck on 5 8. It's like a weird mix of levels that are hard because you gotta figure them out, and levels that are hard because they're just so full of noise. This is one of those noise levels. It's just four teleporters. Where are we going? We, we can't even enter all of them, even if we want it, because we only have four strokes. Well, and the, and the goal, I mean. Oh, Zex solved 5-8. Um, Moving on to 5-9, which is pretty free. 6 to the bottom left, and then 9, and then the 6 is gonna work out for Zex here. And Zex, just try, you have an undo. Go nuts, man. Now for the nine. Come on, Zach. Dawn on the six six. Yeah, any any time Zex wastes here is just way more time than Zex should should be taking it. Alright. Zex on the six one. These these first like four levels were pretty trivial. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the one. Or, oh, I'm gonna start bottom right because there's so much there. <laughs> Very much tutorial. Excellent. Fine, both of them. Chronic Dawn did it the other order. Checks out on the 6 4. A 4 wasn't super. That's not a solve for Draconic Dawn. So Zex really needs Draconic Dawn to get stuck. Twice. 
I don't think so. I don't think you can get to the flag for... Zex on 6-5. 6-5 is like a level you gotta think about a little, and I think that's been Zex's strength. The character has been clicking, which I like. Clicking is good. I click things as you can. But in a level like this where you gotta figure out which one you wanna take in the first place, Dex may have the upper hand. There and there. Doesn't look like this is what Zex was planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is not a slip. Draconicton seems to have planned. Um, two chip at the start is weird, which makes me think that Draconicton knows exactly what he wants. And yeah, this works. Two here, and then the two into the chip. Perfect on the six seven. It is a a state for this to be in. Sheer water walls. This level is... There's not that much going on in the level, but then you have five strokes. Oh, you don't need all of them. Who needs it? First it's try. Like, I mean, Dratonic down on the 6-8. This one looks easier because you, you have these very basic 2, 4, and 5 strokes. Alright, the two to the top left will put it in the corner. Oh, this also. Five is too long. I think you want to start with the five. The five is just too much at the end. Yeah. And then the two. And the three. And then the four. This is off the draconic down. Into the last level of the goal. Fantastic. Dex has to hope that Draconic don't really get stuck here. Oh, it doesn't look like he will. This level is pretty simple. One, two, does not... Oh, wait, this could work. But so we could get into the teleport if we had to leave, like three to the bottom right instead. Would have also moved us two to the top left and kept us with the two to get into the teleporter. Three and four? No, this is not going to work. On the topic of uh, things in common with yesterday's race, I, look, I reopened IRC uh, so that way I could see what time they finish. And I noticed that Sully finished 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so, uh, good two. grief. No, this is not going to work. Four is too much. Next, so five, five, uh, six, five, sorry. So, Zex is three levels behind, has to finish four levels in the time that Draconic Dawn finishes one. And I don't think this is a level you can get super stuck on. Four and two. Oh, this is a solve. This is it. Draconic done. We'll move on to top eight. Finishing with Dot a done. time of So I believe this is our first new top eight contender, right? <laughs> oh, that's a good uh... Let's see. In the in top bracket, we got Adam Pikapals, Someone Three to Five, and Triscorp. I don't think any of those are new. And um, Pikapals? I don't think so. In the bottom, we have Maurice. Definitely not new. He's really good. And Andy. Uh, I don't know. Andy is also pretty good. Also not new. And then we do have the remaining match, the Guns vs. Jackazam, who will definitely, uh, one of which will be a new top 8 contender. Yeah, Pika Boss has been so. Yeah, this is our first new top 8 contender, and we're gonna get a second one in either the Guns or Jackazam. Exciting! Two new top yeah. 8 contenders this MT. Let's, uh, let's pull that new top 8 contender right in. Hello, Draconic Dawn. Welcome to Top 8. Hello, and... Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. 
Tell, what did you think of Golf Peaks? This is a really cool game. Uh, I I like the idea of card based. It's a card based bald game, and I'm I'm here for it. It's like you were really jamming through most of it too. Yeah, it it just kind of it it felt good. It was it was good. Uh, I don't know. And it, it was also really easy to just kind of cycle through stuff. Now, have you seen any other games by this dev? Uh, I don't think so. Um, let's see. We were mentioning that they had put out a game called Railbound recently, as well a game that has looked very interesting to me called Invento. Okay. Oh, hold up. Why didn't we submit Kitty Curling to a to Mystery Tournament and another game of theirs? Yeah. It's uh, browser playable too. Oh. Gotta look at that. I'll have to check out some of their other stuff. It definitely looks interesting. But yeah, you're moving on to fight uh, some guy named Stab Yourself? I don't know. Sounds violent. Uh, is that who's? Is that who's next? It's Maurice. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought was second. No, it's me. Yes. <laughs> um, we're gonna play in a. So this is interesting. If you get to losers top eight, like the losers round ten, I guess, uh, it's a best of three. So it's a little bit different. You, you demanding a different skill from you. It's like really fast uh, learning of the game. I was actually just barely over the goal there. Zex has the wrong approach here, I think. I think uh, bottom right is wrong at the start. It is correct. Oh, it goes with the 4, which I believe is incorrect. Draconic Dawn did use the 5, and I th I agree with the 5. Oh wait! Oh, beautiful! You, you can go the other way <laughs> at the end to like, turn the 5 into a 4. And there it is, last stage for Zex. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, the first, the first one is always losers top 8. No, not best of 3, isn't it? Yeah, you, you know what I was Basically, trying to say. <laughs> losers ten. Don't you laugh at me. Losers ten is a best of three with short games, like fifteen minutes. And then the next one, losers eleven, is a best of three with long games, I believe, because that's the the losers final, right? Yeah. Then it's like best of five for grands, isn't it? Well, that's not the losers final, but that's not done for for Zach's. Hasn't done done yet, but I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's a... Sex immediately opening windows, I think, is going to go shut off his computer. <laughs> Let's do this. Spoil anything that shouldn't be spoiled. Someone needs to check on their fax machine. That is my fr refrigerator. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Here we go. Losers 10 is one game, losers 11 is three. Oh, right. There's, there's the one where the winners drop down. I forgot about that. Obviously, the winners of losers 10 don't play against each other. There's, there's still like the, the intermediate round that we get in losers. You're right. Wait, the first round of losers is best of one? Are you sure? Well, then I'm completely wrong. See, Don, he is fallible. You have a chance. All oh, right. The way I was remembering it is if you're in winner's top eight and you drop down, you get into the top three. So, yeah, ID is correct. <laughs> so our match is going to be a best of one, and then if you win, you get a best of three. That's how it works. 
So I just have to pull, like, Super Nintendo jank, and I'm good, right? Maybe I'm yeah, gonna, sure. I'm gonna practice Super Nintendo jank. That's what you think. We gotta, we gotta schedule events so Maurice doesn't have time to practice. Yeah, I forget. We don't ever get Zex on comms, do we? No, we got him last time, but I, you know, I feel bad for him if I ask now. No, yeah, why would you bother? I mean, he kn he knows he is invited. I'll ask. Okay. It's polite. My goodness, it's just a week until top eight. Yeah. And we can, we can use this opportunity while we wait a little bit. Look at the schedule. There's only three things scheduled. One of them is the mystery show tomorrow, pretty much in exactly a day. We're going to see mystery show where crazy things will happen. But all of them will be fun, I hope. Kind of the, the goal. There may be some people in this call who might have an inkling as to what's going on, but they will not say anything because it'll be entertaining. I mean, I have an inkling what's going on. Right? If, you, mm, if, you're, if you're saying that you have an inkling, you should be aware that I have an inkling. Right? I mean, I'm... <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, and then after the mystery show, which will hopefully not take longer than two hours, we have Jackazam vs. The Guns, our very last top 8 qualifying match, where we're going to see another new top 8 player, either Jackazam or The Guns. Very exciting. And then they will lose to Andy. <laughs> Maybe not. We'd see. Uh, and then a week a week after that, we're gonna have top eight on the on the Gamestone Quick channel. We're gonna have the best versus the rest, but really it's more like the best versus the best. I'm gonna like put the second day on there and call it the best versus the best. Um, it's like the whole weekend. It's like I don't know, like six hours every day. It's it's a pretty long stream. Yeah, it's like five or six on Saturday and then five or six on Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. And you're part of it, Draconic Don. Hooray! It, it'll be a fun time. I hope you did your uh, like your little tasks of setting up in an hour. Oh, you've got your tech check in an hour. Yep. Nice. Very good. Because otherwise, you can't be there. <laughs> Gonna have to disqualify you for technical reasons. We don't want that. <coughs> um, but yeah, let's go back here because we're not quite done. Uh, game's cool. I do you think you're gonna play a little bit more of Golf Peaks because it it does get kind of hard, but not crazy hard, which I hate. I hate when puzzle games take it to the extreme, and Golf Peaks isn't one of those. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna I'll probably play that uh, after the tech check. And uh, the developer also has different games, and there, are, like Invento is another game by them. It's also available on the Switch, and then Railbound, which is not available on the Switch. For some reason they were like, eh, not worth it. But all of the game, all of these games are really cute. I like them. Yeah, their their style is very pretty. Very relaxing, very zen like. Inventor is more like that, Railbone is kind of not so much crazy. Brains are crashing into each other. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. We have a look at the schedule. <laughs> we, Again, we see. Yeah. run it back. <laughs> we got nothing <laughs> until tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow, mystery show, Jack of them, and then in a week, come back. Well, actually, don't come back. Come back somewhere else to the GameStone Quick channel. For the top eight, day one, and then on Sunday, in a week and a day, well, two days, we're gonna have a second day of top eight, where only, I think it's three players at that point, right? We, we play winners, we play winners final, losers final, and then the grand final. Yeah. I think the, the losers semifinals are played by then. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. 
So thank you very much, Bye Draconic Dawn, for joining. Congrats on your win. Congrats on top eight. Like, no one can take that away from you. It's a permanent star on your card. Which is funny, because Maurice is definitely going to take it away from you. But, uh, the star He's going to be trying. The star stays. The star stays. Your position in top eight will not, if he oh, has anything right. to say about it. I mean, obviously I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good match, and I will walk away with my star. Yeah. I mean, you, you already are. You have the stars locked in. <laughs> Got a an odd conversation in chat. Jack is saying, I want a star on my card. <laughs> Pwn Noob responds, Gon's forfeit? She did ask nicely. I have, I have a heart. Um, it was very cool. But yeah, thank you very much for playing and for joining us on commentary. Thanks for commentating. And with that, we're at the end of the stream. You can see what's coming up here. I've already said it twice, I won't say it again. Thank you very much, Phantom Matt, for commentating so I wasn't so alone. Ah, uh, it's a pleasure. And we'll be back tomorrow for the mystery show at pretty much exactly this time. You should tune in, it's really fun. Soon.